Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed. We really do appreciate. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to and I'll do it. So today I'm going to be reacting to um, Amid the Dark Reasons with Jews. Does Palestine belong to Jews? part two of two so without wasting time let's get into the video Amadidat reasons with Jews on the lineage of Abraham story continues from part one so in the firm the other Jewish managers this is the boss comes and tells him say you know this guy here dispatch clerk dispatch clerk is a lowly job in a white firm so you know this guy here man he made rings around us you see so he must have shared it with the other Jewish managers in the firm, I said, the guys know something, you see. So while walking through one of the departments, clothing department, and the manager of the clothing department, Mr. Baynard, another Jew, he calls me. I was wearing a white dust coat, you know, furniture trade. He said, come here, I did that. I said, yes, sir. He says, you know, you made rings around Mr. Beer, I hear. But you know, you can't do that to me. He says, you know, as for Ishmael, Ishmael was a bastard. Look, this... This is how they, the, the brainwash program. As for Ishmael, Ishmael was a bastard, he says. You know, an Arab would have put a knife through him. <laughs> but we couldn't afford to do that. <laughs> so I said, Mr. Baynard, look, why don't you come home? We'll sit down and we'll talk. You know, bring your wife along and your friends will have meals together. I said, ah, you can't do to me what you did to Mr. Beer. I said, who's talking about doing anything? You come home. Hmm, not interested. And every time I get an opportunity, Mr. Baynard, I said, you know my wife, I told her, and she's looking forward to receiving you and your wife, come home. Every time I said, look, Mr. Baynard, come, you know, we are waiting for you. So he was persuaded. He comes. Mr. and Mrs. Baynard, Mr. and Mrs. Peel, and Mr. Townsend, who was a backroom boy for the full gospel church. Three Christians and two Jews. They come along. I, same treatment, same treatment, feed them well, take them to the masjid, bring them back. I said, now we have teas and samosas. <laughs> so they're having teas and samosas. So I said, maybe now the guy softened. You know, the tea and samosa and our meals, you know, they're very good. It might have done the job. So I'm thinking. So I said, Mr. Baynard, you remember you told me in the, in the shop that Ishmael was a bastard. He said, of course. I said, you still stand for that? He said, of course. I thought the samosas had done the job, but it hadn't. <laughs> so I said, all right, Mr. Bain, tell me now. According to the religion of your religion, Judaism, which is better for a man to marry his own sister and beget child by her, or marry a born woman, a slave woman, a negress, and beget child by, by, by such a woman? He said, no, 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 the negress is preferable. According to the religion of Judaism, instead of having your own sister as a wife, you rather have a slave woman, a negress, a bond woman, because that is what they insinuate, that Hajra, who was actually a princess of Egypt, but this rubbish, they say that she was a slave woman. It's all right, even a slave woman. Which is better as a wife, your sister or a slave woman? According to your religion. He said, no, the slave woman is preferable. I said, you see, according to the laws of eugenics, inbreeding, which is better for you to have your own sister as a wife or you have a slave woman, a born woman, a negress? He said, no, the negress is preferable. I said, according to your common sense, which is preferable, your own sister or this negress? He said, no, the negress is preferable. This is very good. No, the answers are right, correct. I said, you see, Mr. Baynard, when Abraham and Sarah, husband and wife, when they went to Egypt, it says, and Abimelech, Abimelech, I'm quoting from Genesis chapter 20, you can check it up. And Abimelech, the king of Gerar, sent and took Sarah. See, he goes there, and um, this Sarah was a beautiful Jewess, Hebrew woman, beautiful thing. So this king, you know, he's enamored, he wants her. 
and there is what is called the prerogative of kings. You know, in the old, olden days, you see, the king has a right to take anybody's wife or mother or daughter, anything he wants. Like, I want that woman. You can't say no, otherwise it can kill you. So he's asking Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, according to the Bible, say this beautiful woman, what is she to you? So Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, according to the Bible, he spoke a lie. He said, she's my sister. So if she's your sister, well, send her in to the haram. So he had to send her in. And things went wrong that night, you know, and the fellow couldn't come right with Sarah. We don't know what happened. But uh, next morning, he's frustrated and he's calling Ibrahim, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, and asking him, say, look, man, because of this woman, I had a sleepless night. Tell me, what is your connection with her? So he said, she's my wife. He said, why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me? I wouldn't have done anything like that. And Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam says, according to Genesis chapter 20, verse 12, he says, and yet indeed, means without doubt, she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. It's a different mother, but the, it's the father's seed. And she became my wife. So she is Abraham's sister, seed coming from the same father. And you said, according to Judaism, according to eugenics, according to common sense, that the negress was preferable. And you say Ishmael is a bastard because he's a child of, Ish of, of, of Hagar, through Hagar, a slave woman. So I said, if Ishmael is a bastard, then Isaac is a greater bastard according to your standards. <laughs> Look, you have a right to speak like that. We dare not speak about the prophets of God. Hazrat Ismail alayhi salam, he was a prophet of God. Hazrat Ishaq alayhi salam was a prophet of God. But now you're arguing with the sick mentality. You've got to get rid of the sickness. You've got to give it to him with a sledgehammer. When it needs a sledgehammer, nothing else will work. If you say, my man, my hero is what you say, then yours is worse. Any standard. Um, Mr. Ahmadidat, if your wife knows you have a servant there and she is parent, she can't bear, she can't bear a child to you, and she tells you, you can take her as wife, and the God Almighty says that your bare woman that can't bear a child, she will bear a son to you, which one will you accept? I think what uh, young John has in mind is this, that Sarah, the wife of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, she couldn't bear any children, no children. So, you know, getting old, Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam is getting old, Sarah is getting old, everybody's talking about she's barren, she's barren, she's barren. It's a disgraceful thing among the Eastern people not having a child. So she says, look, go unto Hagar, Hajra, and be get child by her. Now, this is how weddings took place. You know, there were no ceremonies going to court before the magistrate, and then he reads out a formula to you, and then he gives you a certificate. No. My daughter, you see all the prophets, when they went, got the wife, he said, look, he said, oh, take her to wife. That means it's yours. And he's his wife. Only man who has a right to her is that person to whom the woman is given. Hajra was supposed to have inherited, uh, uh, Sarah is supposed to have been given this Hajra as her maid. And she said, look here, have her. And Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, a man of God, a friend of God. Would we say that he was committing adultery with her? If he was, God Almighty would have reprimanded him. No. His friend, Khalilullah, the friend of God, Everybody says, the Jews says the father Abraham, the Christians say father Abraham, Muslims say father Abraham. This father of ours committing adultery? Can we ever think like that? Can we ever talk like that? Hmm? So he goes unto her and she begets a child. Now when she begets a child, for 13 years, there was no question about an offer being made. He said, look, do you want to do this one or that one? There was no question because the woman is not getting it. Sarah is not getting any children. And for 13 more years, she didn't have anything. 13 years. Hazrat Ismail salam, was the only son and seed of Abraham for 13 years. After 13 years, Allah wants to also bless Sarah. And so he, she also gets a child and his name was Ishaq. 
So what is the problem? If God Almighty, according to the Bible, he says, and as for Ishmael, Ishmael thy son, and as for Ishmael thy seed, if you believe that this is the word of God, then God is saying, Ismail, your son. If God accepts, who the hell are you? Or any monkey, you know, to take says, no, he's not his son. What right has anybody to come along and deny him that right? If I married a Bushman woman, or a Hottentot woman, and she gave birth to a child, I accept that child as my child. What right have you to say that's not my child? I ask you. Have you any right? So understand it. The Jewish standard, he said, look, you think that Sarah is the legitimate wife and this is the illegitimate wife. I said, look, even then, your progeny in which Jesus came is a rotten, a rotten progeny than that of Ismail on that standard that you are giving. We are not creating the standards. These are not our standards. These are the standards as we are. You judge, and Jesus told you, he says, judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And do you not measure ye meat, it shall be measured unto you. Say, so you hypocrite? Say, so why seest thou the beam in thy brother's eye, and seest not the moat in thy own eye? So first remove the moat from thy own eye, before wanting to remove from your brother's eye. Yes, you must heed that warning. Heed that warning, that before you point a finger, think twice. This man, the Jew, didn't think twice. So he got into a mess. We must think twice before we open our mouth. What you say, how you judge other people. Like, share, and subscribe to create awareness. We are also available on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and PalTalk. I'm trying to wrap my head around the topic. Um, in today's world, I feel like such things are not okay. Also, depending on where you come from, because I feel... Because I feel like the Christians, actually, not Christians, I feel like the British or people back in the days were actually fine with marrying their close relatives such as cousin. I think that was in British culture. I don't know which other cultures did that. The Indians, I think they marry within their families. And some Muslims as well actually still till today marry their own cousins, you know. Um, but then is there no health risk to such because you know there is rumors people say because they marry each other that's why there is this sickness in their family or maybe there is this type of um deformity in the family such things and i i i, I don't know because in this day and age we frown upon people that would want to get into a relationship with their own blood or someone they share some percentage of blood with you know i i don't know like it's never happened in my family or look at it weird but then someone else who's experiencing such a thing finds it quite normal it's not my job to judge their lifestyle it's not their job to judge my lifestyle because we all have different backgrounds also it leads us to the beginning of humanity itself if those just adam and eve where did the children come from because they had children who dated each other multiplied and that's how um life came to be at the end of the day should we say that's how life is supposed to be are we supposed to date our own brothers sisters cousins whatever it is what are your thoughts on this topic what are your thoughts on this topic it would really really be interesting to get feedback from you guys your thoughts are always welcome if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video